Up next, something he knows a little bit about, mm -hmm. perseverance. This is the inspiring stories of childhood cancer survivors right after this. Stay with us. Thank you. Thank you. Tomorrow kicks off Childhood Cancer Awareness Month, so today we are so lucky to have two childhood cancer survivors with us. They share their amazing journeys in Perseverance, a collection of 20 inspiring cancer survivorship stories. The book's author, Carolyn Rubenstein, created a nonprofit to send childhood cancer survivors to college. She is here with two survivors, Zach York and Colleen Kleider. We're so glad Great to, to have, have you, you all here today. Yeah, I cannot know. believe what you have. You are 24 years old, right? I am, so yes. <laughs> what, where did you come up with this interest? Um, it happened when I was six years old. Mm -hmm. I went to a camp run by my family, friends, um, and it was four children going through cancer. And at six years old, something kind of sparked within me, and then I wanted to go back. And so I went back when I was 13 years old, and I was surrounded by kids my own age going through cancer, and it kind of turned my world upside down. Mm -hmm. And so I came back from that camp wanting to do anything I could to help them. So and you started your foundation at the age of 15. Yes. Hello. I and know. Just amazing. How many kids are you sent to college? Um, it is about, I guess, over 100, isn't it? Yes, at least over 100. Uh -huh. We just gave out more, so uh, about 120 now, and yeah. Such inspiring stories. Colleen, you, when were you diagnosed with cancer? I was diagnosed when I was 15 and a half in high school. Did you understand what that diagnosis meant at that age? No, it was kind of all happening so fast, a big shock. I found out, um, and two days later, I had to have emergency brain surgery, so it just really happened fast and the more difficult part for me was the recovery process. Was, was it chemotherapy? I radiation? actually was very fortunate in the fact that I just had brain surgery. Wow. Um, Isn't that so amazing you you're saying that? Yeah. But I love yeah. what you did and this is so, I wish everyone would do this whether they're going through something or not. You kept a journal where you kept sort of like a grateful list, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, yeah, I did. And, and what did that do? How did that help you? Uh, my good friend Vicki introduced uh, the gratitude journal to me and it just, it really helped to look back at the milestones and in here I was kind of reading through it. It's like, you know, today I had the strength to walk a few steps or today I walked downstairs and I'm so grateful for that. Mm. So it's kind of nice to look back at those little milestones and it really keeps you going. Yeah. It's healing. Gratitude is a healing thing. What about you, Zach? When were you diagnosed? I was diagnosed well, when I was 12, mm. uh, right before my 13th birthday. And five days later I was in emergency surgery. Now, at 12, you were saying it didn't, you didn't really understand the gravity of it at that age, did you, Zach? That's right. I didn't understand the gravity of it because, you know, the, the best idea of what it meant to be in the hospital was from, you know, the, 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 was, from the, for, was from the media. Mm -hmm. And, you know, it's not as, it's near, nowhere near as mm -hmm. the, the, what, well, that's the, right. the gravity it holds is nowhere near what it really is right. when it's the reality when it's portrayed of it. Exactly. In the, yeah. When it's portrayed yeah. in the media. Do you guys? What um, if you have? Because everyone wants to take something away from your experiences. Colleen, what would be the takeaway for you? Um, for me, I really had to redefine strength. I think oftentimes society like views uh, seeking out help or gathering support from others or even crying as a weakness but I think it takes a strong and courageous person to do those things and that was really a big takeaway message and something that really helped me. You were strong, Zach, you were too. And, and Carolyn, what you've what done, you do, uh, wow. God bless thank you. Yeah. Thank See, you. one person can change the world. Oh, and even a little 15 year old yeah. at the time. <laughs> the book is called Perseverance. And I'm sure that. everybody knows somebody that needs to read this Absolutely. book. Absolutely. Thanks so much. Colleen, Zach, thank you thanks all, you all so much.